Hey guys, hey internet, come and watch us draw and talk the Jersey Devil as we explore cryptids worldwide. So welcome back to day 17 of 31 days of drawing cryptids worldwide as we explore cryptids from all as we explore cryptids, legends, and myths from all around the world. If this is your first video that you're seeing and you want to start from the very beginning, I'll leave a link to the playlist down below. If not, onward to the Jersey Devil. So, the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil is a cryptid hailing from the United States in Pines Barren, South Jersey, also known as the Leeds Devil. This cryptid is a flying biped with hooves, with a kangaroo-like body, with a horse-slash-goat-like head, with leathery bat-like wings, horns, small arms with clawed hands, and legs with cloven hooves and a forked tail. Reportedly to move quickly and is often described as emitting a high-pitched blood-curdling scream, the Jersey Devil often glows, and it can breathe fire and poison water with its breath both classic dragon-like characteristics. The Jersey Devil of folklore is also known as the Leeds Devil. Local residents trace its origins to a woman named Mother Leeds, the mistress of a British soldier who was suspected of being a witch. When she gave birth to her 13th child, she cursed it. The baby was born as a hairy creature and soon took to terrorizing the populace and eating children. The Lenape tribes in the area called this area the place of the dragon, and Swedish explorers later named it the Drak Kill, Drak being the word drag, and kill meaning channel or arm of the sea. According to American folklore, Joseph Bonaparte, elder brother of Napoleon Bonaparte, is also claimed to have witnessed the Jersey Devil while hunting on his Borden town state around 1820. The story follows. One snowy afternoon, Joseph Bonaparte was hunting alone in the woods near his house when he spotted some strange tracks on the ground. They looked like the tracks of a two-footed donkey. Bonaparte noticed that one foot was slightly larger than the other. The tracks ended abrupt as if the creature had flown away. He stared at the tracks for a long moment trying to figure out what the strange animal might be. At that moment, Bonaparte heard a strange hissing noise. Turning, he found himself face to face with a large winged creature with a horse-like head and, and bird-like legs. Astonished and frightened, he froze and he stared at the beast, forgetting that he was carrying a rifle. For a moment, neither of them moved. Then the creature hissed at him, beat his wings, and flew away. While this creature has been sighted in other states and has been linked to other creatures that seem to have similar appearances, such as the phantom kangaroo of Tennessee, the likelihood behind this cryptid might not be what you think. It seems that the origins of this tale have more to do with the region itself. The region most commonly stalked by this creature is known as Pine Barrens, a region known for high acidic and sandy soil and suited for traditional European methods of farming. This meant that European settlers moved into the region. Those with the means avoided the area as much as possible. Only those in dire need would settle in the region, becoming known as Pineys. Made up of outcasts and less reputable members of colonial society, this reputation gave those outside the barrens even more reason to stay far from pine barrens. It is possible that the creature's origins from pine barrens from the Leeds family were a form of social discrimination taken in the form of folklore. The creature's fearsome reputation, combined with the foul reputation of the family it came from, would only encourage locals to avoid the region for the fear of being caught by the Jersey Devil. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the Jersey Devil. If you did, then definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe to find out which cryptid from around the world we end up exploring next. If this is your first video that you're seeing in mine, my name's Alethea. I go by the artist named Ink Eater. I love drawing portraits and creatures from my imagination and bringing things to life. And sometimes we do talk about music. If that's totally your thing, then definitely hit the subscribe button down below. And if not, no worries. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Seeing things before they happen. Things are not always what they seem in this place. Sadly, you can't take anything for granted.